welcome to our social hour. This is where we talk about so much concerning family, career, and of course, uh, social topics. Uh, so that being said, uh, let's jump into what we have lined up for you and it's all about career choices. And uh, the big question is, are you in the career of your choice? Hmm. If yes, that's actually good for you. If no, that could be a little bit of a challenge. In fact, try imagining being straight out of high school or college and you don't know which way forward. The truth is hundreds of people go through life confused about what to do or somewhat are detached from their career path. Now, your work or career should challenge you positively and leave you fulfilled. But how many of us can truly say that? Let's talk about career planning this morning and how to make big moves. Most importantly, how you can also go about helping a loved one, especially your child. How can you help them make the right choice? Joining me today uh, is Rachel Mungai. She is a career coach. Karibu sana, Rachel. Thank you. Right at the center, we've got George Kasumi, who is a high school leaver from Pumwani Boys School. Just finished, George. Karibu sana. Asante. And then we do have graduate Nancy Anyango, who is from the Kabete National Polytechnic. Asante sana for being with us today. Okay, so um, as you continue, of course, to interact with us, we do have the question of the day for you. And so we are asking you this morning, are you in your career of choice? Are you in your career of choice? Talk to us. The social media platforms are actually there uh, at the bottom of your screen. And so are all the details that you need to get in touch with us. So let me start off by um, engaging you, George and Nancy, just to hear um, your story. For you, George, uh, when you were finishing high school, did you know what you wanted to do going forward? Uh, at first, yeah, I had I had something in mind, mm -hmm. uh, art related, because I I took art in in high school. Okay. So oh, I, so did I? Yeah, I was good in art as well. So, <laughs> yeah. So I desired to pursue something art related. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, how are you feeling about that? Uh, so far, so good, yeah. but I've not yet joined mm -hmm. college, mm -hmm. uh, a bit of delay, but mm -hmm. I hope I'll be in soon. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, and Nancy, for you, tell us, um, uh, Kabete National Polytechnic, what did you study? Um, I actually did diploma in building technology. Yeah. And um, the course, I came to it because of my parents' influence mm -hmm. and also the coops formerly known as jobs yeah um, so I wanted to do interior design mm -hmm. but there was no course relating to it right. um, which Coop offered it online mm -hmm. so I choose to go for building technology okay as yeah. your plan B more <laughs> or less <laughs> or second I, choice yeah I saw it related to it yeah. I thought it related to it okay yeah. all right mm -hmm. uh, Rachel just uh, listening um, to George and Nancy um, they kind of give us a preview or a window to understand um, what high schoolers or college students actually go through which is mm, okay I think I'll do this mm, this kind of sounds interesting but it's not I want to do this, I'm going to do this. So you find a situation whereby there's that gap that not many mm -hmm. will be 100% sure where they want to go forward. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us about the situation on the ground, even with your work uh, with students. Okay. Yeah. So pretty much what Nancy and George mm. are going through is what is outside there. Yeah. Actually most, uh, let me say, young people leave high school or go to college not actually knowing what they want to do mm -hmm. because you are either placed because of grades by jobs and coops yeah so it is not actually based on your talents mm -hmm. your interests what you want yeah but it's basically a system that just fixes you there mm. but long down long down the lane you yeah. realize that this is not what i wanted to do mm -hmm. and that is the story of so many people yeah I, i'm sure you can testify so many people will tell you that i have done so many things yeah i started as an accountant mm -hmm. at some point i left i did marketing at yes. some point i left i did something else right they're still searching for themselves they want to do what they, they feel like they're really connected to it yeah so it is a very unfortunate picture, mm -hmm. but that is the reality of so many people. Yeah. Like, uh, based on research, about 25% mm -hmm. are the lucky people who 
maybe they knew what they wanted to do from the right. word go right. and 75 percent are the people who come and juggle through fate yeah. where you land yeah, exactly and you just don't know where you will land right and you live a life that is totally frustrated mm -hmm. i'm sure that quote of mm. oh, thank god it's friday because you just <laughs> want to go away from your work it's true yeah it's true. you and don't when, enjoy what you do monday to yeah, friday right monday blues because you're yeah. coming to something that you just don't want wow. but you're just there because of the bills you mm -hmm. have to pay mm -hmm. and you know sometimes to meet the society expectations right yeah right. so you're okay. there because oh my mom will say that i'm an ass mm -hmm. and yet you didn't want to become an ass from the word go right you are okay. an accountant because your dad your mom somebody pushed you mm -hmm. but into it, it not you okay. who wanted to do that okay um when you think back uh george mm -hmm. to the years in high school did anyone ever ask you by the way what do you like yeah, actually, mm. that question was asked so many times. Mm -hmm. uh, and one thing I always insisted on was doing something related to what I love, yeah. which is art. Mm -hmm. And I'm loving it so far. Mm -hmm. yeah, just doing what I love and making, making a, a career out of my talent. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nancy, uh, when you had to now get into um, your plan B, so to speak, or your second choice, uh, how was that conversation with your parents? Uh, why didn't it not be, okay, fine, you know what, we will wait until we get you an interior design school, as opposed to, okay, why don't you just go for your second choice? Um, actually, mm. you know, when you're choosing a career and so many of my friends already were, in their career or what coops jewels for them. Yeah. Um, you see that you're being left alone and you just have to go because I don't want to be left alone. Mm -hmm. I have to do this course. So I am the one who will pressure my mini family to mm -hmm. tell them, Ah no, the interior will come later. Yeah. Let me just go. Mm -hmm. And my parents will be just like, Yeah, you should go. You can't be in the house. Mm -hmm. You have been called already. Why stay in the house? Mm -hmm. And there is a course for you waiting for you out there. Yeah. Yeah. So I just chose to go for it. Okay. And <laughs> mm -hmm. it was such an experience. Mm. It wasn't that bad being in school, by the way. Yeah. Um, the course, um, when doing it, theory, mm -hmm. it's so good. But going to the field, it's so different. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's just so different. You just want to run from it, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's far from what they make it look like. Yeah. yeah. On pictures and on TV. Yeah. <laughs> For ground, literally, be different. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's so different. And then, you know, when yeah. I chose it, um, on the market, it seems like a good strategy mm -hmm. because, like, um, there are no... Okay, yeah. like the less or little female in that career. Yeah. So I thought like, yeah, I'll be like one of them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm that girl making a difference. Yes. But going to the field, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's totally a different <laughs> ground, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Rachel, who do you think um, should be taking responsibility for this? Is it more of our school system? Or is it at home that parents are not taking that time or that initiative mm -hmm. to really dig out and understand uh, where their children's interests lie? Because if, for example, if you look at it, even in the U.S., mm -hmm. they have things like Parents' Day, and their Parents' Day is not your parents coming to just look at your grades. Yeah. Parents actually decide, okay, I'm a fireman, mm -hmm. you're a police officer, you're a teacher, mm -hmm. let me go talk about careers mm -hmm. into this school so that children can get a feel of, Oh, so and so's dad is a teacher, a policeman. So that's what it's like, mm -hmm. you know, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. mm. So I think uh, basically, let me say, re the responsibility lies both uh, in school and also for the parents. Yeah, it's a joint kind of work that has to be done for this uh, child to get to their ideal career. Mm. Because at the same time, parents are. Uh, have to observe and learn what are what are the the skills and the strengths of their children yeah and even the system also should be like in a way that they are going to look beyond the grades and the papers mm -hmm. because i'm sure there's so much that is beyond books right that can define one mm -hmm. but uh, our system has been so much about grades 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 mm, yeah and at the end of the day we forget that beyond the grades we need there is a person beyond that yeah there is the creativity that is never <coughs> captured mm -hmm. in those papers mm -hmm. there is the maybe the manual ability that is never captured in those papers mm -hmm. so at the end of the day it's a joint cooperation between parents 
yeah and also the school system they should address this mm -hmm. yeah okay let's drop in our audience at this particular point we actually do want to throw up that question of the day to you yet again and we're simply asking you are you in your career of choice are you in your career of choice please be honest with us tell us your experiences how did you even land into what you're doing today we've got people who are just you know um let me say experts at everything you know you are jack of all trades so to speak but you never have really focused on one thing are you that type of person talk to us through our social media platforms at k24 tv is how you can reach us remember our whatsapp line is active more than ever and it will be popping up at the bottom of your screen if you if you prefer to call rather as well we would love to hear from you today tell us about your experiences how are you even going about helping your child identify the career that suits them Okay, uh, George, back to you. Um, uh, let's talk a little bit about this peer pressure thing. Um, generally, what is perceived to be the cool thing to do, you know, when you, when you leave school, everybody wants to do this or that? Uh, I'd say it all depends on, on the person. Yeah. It, it's a personal affair. Mm -hmm. and, but I suppose many of the... Many of the people, what yeah. what one attack mm. when they let you to what one or go up? What um to a kiss key on a fanya, on a fanya, kit of lani kubua, yeah, and a jaw bus, um say a coffee. But I say yeah. it's all about the person, mm. cause about Ukifika, Ukifika doing the thing, mm. it's so different, like you'll, like you'll be born and born and ilikuja mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a personal thing, yeah, and peer pressure can be negative or positive, mm -hmm. it just depends on. Who's advising you? Yeah. Whom are you listening to? Right. Yeah. Right. And so what was the general talk when you were finishing high school? Uh, were guys just, you know, talking, exchanging, saying, ah, me, I'm going to go for this. Uh, me, I think I'm going to go for this. W what did you hear? Uh, <laughs> that's funny because in our class, we used to, to, give, to give people their careers. There, there are some people whom, whom, we, whom we called doctors already. They were professors. There were there were artists, musicians, mm -hmm. and and all that. Yeah. But for some people like us, other people are just telling us that we already know what you are going to do. Mm. So okay. <laughs> it was somehow somehow clear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Nancy, uh, when it comes to what you're currently seeing as the ideal career path, uh, when you talk to a lot of young people, a lot of it is of course, social media related. Um, some people will just simply say, okay, you know what, I'm going to decide to become an influencer, a YouTuber, you know, pretty much that's what young people actually feel is, okay, that is the ideal career, you know. Mm -hmm. um, when you look at, you know, what's happening on social media, do you feel also inclined to be part of that group and say, you know what, these other chicks have it easy on TV, on radio, or whatever, you know, <laughs> and, and, and on YouTube? Okay. Um, the life seems easy. Yeah. And probably it can influence a person mm -hmm. um, to want to join that kind of life. Um, but for me, <laughs> I've never been so much a social person. Yeah. I like doing things on the ground, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. That's why I chose my course. Um, because I felt like it's a place where I will go and mingle, yeah. not be in an office, be secluded in an office mm -hmm. where I will make noise. So I went to somewhere <laughs> where I can talk to people, walk around. Mm -hmm. um, but um, concerning the social, I yeah. think a lot of people are so into it, mm -hmm. but me, I'm not. Mm -hmm. And I guess even my friends are not into it. Yeah, we are like focus driven people. Maybe I can say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we look um, up to big careers like being a lawyer, mm -hmm. being a doctor, mm -hmm. <laughs> being an engineer, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, because um, I think maybe it's the influence of our parents. They yeah. made it like look um, such a presentable career, such mm -hmm. a good career. Mm -hmm. um, the one you can go and tell your yeah. <laughs> friends, my daughter is an engineer. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> 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 because there's so much that's coming out from just the you know the little that mm. they're saying yeah. but you know the idea of career planning is still so foreign to a few individuals and parents mm -hmm. Rachel why don't you explain to us what career planning is all about 
So basically, let me put it in a layman's language. Mm. These are activities that involve that are involved in coming up with that ideal career for an individual. Mm -hmm. So it it is a step by step kind of a process yeah. that one has to go through. Maybe through their tools that has to be administered. And at the end of the day, when these tools are administered, so these people uh, you are able they are able mm. to analyze and come up with a a picture and a portfolio of what an individual is all about. Mm -hmm. So this focuses on interests, yeah. you focus on their skills, you focus on their personality, mm -hmm. and also focus on their values. Mm -hmm. Because having worked yourself, you can, all these things do actually apply in the workplace. Right. Because you can never be placed in a place that mm -hmm. your personality doesn't fit, uh, fit in well. Right. So if you're not talkative, you cannot become maybe mm. a customer care agent because yeah. you have to someone has always to pick a call and you know you have to keep on talking if you don't like talking then it's going to be something that you don't want to be there yeah so you can't be doing front office yeah, yeah you can't mm. do front office mm -hmm. so there are people who are basically shy they don't yeah. like being in front of people mm -hmm. and they just like being, like these two. Oh yeah <laughs> they prefer being in their cocoon and their face <laughs> so they prefer being there yes. and there's that personality yeah. and when you look out there's a job that they can do perfectly well right. and then there's those who are so talkative, yeah, they are better placed somewhere else. Mm -hmm. so, Something social, yeah. yeah, where they are placed, they can talk and inter interact. They mm -hmm. can become good marketers. Yeah, there's so many places that they can be placed. All right. Then you look at the values. Mm -hmm. Your job will always connect with your values. You cannot work where you feel like your values are in conflict wow, with what you believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. I want you to be uh, to imagine that maybe you are a believer and a Christian, mm -hmm. so you're supposed to work maybe at EBL yeah. to produce alcohol. So yeah. it, will be, it will be against your values. Mm. How can I be telling people to drink this? Yeah. I don't believe in the same thing. Okay. So it is a matter of conflict. So uh, apart from that, it is about also your skills. Yeah. What are you better placed? Mm. Because there are people who have uh, uh, maybe manual skills yeah. and someone else is not better placed in that mm -hmm. kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So if you tell them to come and maybe fix things around, yeah. they feel like, oh, okay, I don't want to do that. Right. Because it is not a natural kind of a thing. They are not really connected with the oh. Right. Manual kind of a thing, yeah? Right. So, and apart from that, there is also the aspect of interest. Are you interested in what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Because if you're not interested, no matter how many times you come here, maybe, and you don't love it, right? at some point, you'll just find a way. You'll go. Maybe wow. you'll be, mm -hmm. you can even be fired because you're not performing. Because right. you don't... Your lack of interest. Lack of interest. No you passion. just don't like what you're doing. Okay. So it has to come. All these things have to be focused on. Mm -hmm. And so there are tools that helps one narrow down uh -huh. up to that. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. All right, so uh, four things that have come out, um, you know, skills, your personality, your values, and your interest. And your interest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Taking a look at what is coming through our WhatsApp line uh, concerning our topic today as we discuss career planning process. Uh, good morning. I've always wanted to be a lawyer, but nature almost forced me into doing economics. It really um, cost me a lot, but I thank God I'm at the right place. Kenyatta Pius. Okay. Thank you so much for that, and we're glad to hear that at least you're in uh, you know, the right place. Um, let's take a look at another text message. Good morning, Key24. I am Samson Okuto. Uh, last year's Form 4 candidate, I got a grade of C+. My career choice, of, uh, or rather, choice course is journalism and mass communication. My dad is not buying the idea of taking me to college. Please advise me on what to do. Wow, mm -hmm. Rachel, uh, please put a pin on that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's take a look at another one here that's coming from Martha, uh, who goes on to say, I'm glad to join in. In. I like the conversation. At least some of us will be able to choose a career. Wow, thank you so much, Martha. Glad to hear that this conversation is of benefit to you. Um, going back to now, of course, uh, George and uh, Nancy, when we actually talk about um, discovering your strengths, uh, you, talk, you talked about art. Mm -hmm. So do you, have you zeroed in specifically on what you want to do in art and design? Yeah, I yeah. have. Uh, I've zeroed down to graphic designing. Mm -hmm. uh, I can say I'm more of a, of a creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's where my strength lies. Okay. Yeah. This uh, conversation, mm -hmm. have you had with your parents and what was the response? Yeah, I have. And I also 
I was so happy because mm -hmm. they were so supportive mm -hmm. and they were, they, were, they were telling me that if I'm happy with the, with the course that I'm going to do, mm -hmm. then they're okay with it as well. Right. Yeah. Uh, the challenge sasa ya wase wa, you know, who are in the arts, eh? Mm -hmm. um, you know, wanaskianga hakuna do in the arts. Mm -hmm. Graphic design peer, you know, there are quite a number of artists who are in there. Mm -hmm. So, have you been scared at all, by the way, even just to go forth and say, okay, fine, I'm going to do art because of everything you've been hearing around? Uh, not, not really, mm. because I believe when you, when you pursue excellence, Success will come knocking on your door. Mm. So I believe that if I do what I love uh, excellently, mm -hmm. then definitely success will come knocking. Mm -hmm. yeah. In campus, uh, why are there people on ground actually talking to students about how to go forward with their careers? No, mm. not really. Mm. Um, the career you're chosen to, um, you just have to go to that class. Mm -hmm. um, if you see it doesn't mingle with you or you don't have, want to do anything with it, you can change it. But there were no people actually talking to us about it. The mm -hmm. only thing they can do is um, invite you to the school. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's the only thing they do majorly. You'll mm -hmm. find they call the teachers, even the vice chancellor will come and talk to you like, welcome to this school and give you the rules and stuff. Yeah. But they won't talk to you about the course you're going to do, mm -hmm. how it will be. No, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're, you, did you feel like, yeah, you're pretty much left on your own to try and figure out? Yeah. What would have you liked to have seen more? What have, I would have liked? Um, somebody coming to talk, oh, talking to us, even yeah. COOPS. I think they should open a program where they tell people like, this course entails this and this and this, mm -hmm. because for me, <laughs> when I was chosen to that career, even like my friends didn't know what it involved. Mm -hmm. I had to go to, the, to my phone, Google it and see like, okay, this entails this and this, do I like it? Mm -hmm. As in, I was the one mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. doing all the work. myself, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> telling myself I can do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no one and there is no platform for anyone to come and talk to us about the career choice you're supposed wow. to go to. Yeah. yeah, I think this is now what uh, inspired uh, Rachel to start her new career yeah. <laughs> as a career coach. Yeah. Because look at the gap. Mm -hmm. There's no one talking to young students. There's you know, no you're just left there to figure out what you're going to do. True. Now you, it is, you know, but either you fall right. into the right place <laughs> or you don't. Yeah, true. Yeah. There is an information gap that is, uh, that is there in our academic mm. system and all that. Mm. That mm. when people clear, we are just based on grades. You yeah. got an A, you are going to do maybe medicine. Mm -hmm. But maybe you could have got an A and mm. maybe make a very great salesperson. Right. And then there is a, uh, a lot of lack of information. Especially when you're doing, like, when you're choosing your career. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's not about just your passion. Mm. Because I've had that word, passion. Yeah. But sometimes it's very vague on its own. It's because true. Yeah, because you don't know what, what ones mean when they talk about passion. Mm -hmm. And then when you talk about that passion, do you think about the marketplace? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, whatever you're going to be trained, yeah. you're going to work for someone there mm -hmm. if you want to earn that money. Right. But... Uh, do you really focus on w w the marketability of that course? That mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to look mm -hmm. at. The employability aspect of it. Right. Because as you mentioned, uh, like for George, yeah. the art space, mm -hmm. it's one space that has a lot of complications. Mm. Yeah. There, there's a lot of people who are there, but mm -hmm. actually there's no money for the same. Mm -hmm. But you could use the creative ability yeah. to tap into something else that will give you better income mm -hmm. at the end of the day, even with your uh, creative ability. Right. So career planning process also entails that. Okay. Because after okay. you have done the self-assessment, where I've just talked about you focus on your areas mm. of interest, yeah. skills and all that, mm -hmm. then you have now to go and research about the market. Okay. Just okay. like Nancy was doing. Yeah. But now at this point you have to get a lot of information, get to know if I do this course, yeah. what is happening down on the ground, you mm -hmm. know, actually on the ground, what is mm -hmm. happening. Uh, some people get to go to school, you learn journalism, then when you're posted into the ground you realize yeah. it is something totally different. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so we'll talk a little bit about how to go about getting that feel or that idea mm -hmm. of the career choice mm -hmm. uh, that you have in mind. But um, uh, let's take a look at, of course, feedback because we do value the texts that are coming in mm -hmm. and probably be able to answer a few of those. Hello, guys. I am Abraham from Kitengela, a Form 4 Lever 2019. I need some guidance majoring on nursing, clinical medicine, and pharmacy. Okay, uh, another text message coming in also that I believe is from Eric. Good morning, Shiko and the team. After high school, I scored an A minus, left with no one to guide me on my career choices. I ended up doing, uh, 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 rather, I ended up in hospitality and tourism at Kenyatta University. Right now, I am a hotel professional with a lot of passion in the industry. My A is in biology, chemistry, physics. It's a burden too heavy to carry. Better move on. Eric watching from my place of work in Halingam. Asati Sara Eric. How many of us are really in Eric's situation? Oh my God, you've got all these skills that are not even applicable to what you're doing today. Good morning, K24. I am Fred from Madare. I'm a student pursuing computer science and bioinformatics. Hence, I'm a self-taught programmer. I think the Kenyan education should embrace practice. Practicals. If you hear someone says, Kwa ground, vituni different, that is serious. We are heading to a hole for the next generation. You are a doctor, but you don't have skills. Government should pop in on this. Mm -hmm. Kagwema from Limuru is on the line. Good morning, Kagwema. Hi. Hello? Hello? Yes, good morning, Kagwema. Good morning to you. Yes, Karibu Sana. I, I want to contribute to what is. Yeah. Uh, hello, hello. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, good morning, Chico Kaitani. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Kagwema from Imuru. Yeah. And I want to contribute to the choice of careers, whatever you are discussing is very good. Eh? Mm -hmm. Thank I you. want to agree with uh, Rachel Moigai that uh, to be in the career you like is very good. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I have always wanted, uh, myself, I personally wanted to be a journalist or a lawyer or a, a high school teacher. Yeah. But I never became one. I ended up being a lot of jobs. And right now, I just came to discover my, my choice when I was 40 and above. Eh? Oh, wow. And, to, mm. and today I do personal motivation. I do, mm -hmm. I do talking. I do a lot of training in the, in the community. Yeah. So I want to agree and say that it's very important for children to know their choice. Because you can stay in a job which is very boring. You're mm -hmm. given a lot of money, but then you don't find the value for that money because you have no interest, you have no values. Yeah. You are not, uh, you know, you are not uh, actually uh, attracted to that particular job. Eh? Right. So my way forward is that we need to have personality tests. We need yes. to introduce personality tests. Eh? Right. The aspect of doing personality tests, like the four, the four temperaments, the sanguine, the choleric, the phlegmatic, and uh, the, the all that. Let you know those things. Eh? Yeah. So that you go as per your strength. You do what a sort analysis. What are your strengths? Mm -hmm. What are your weaknesses? What are your opportunities? So that you do not just waste time tarmacking around the road looking for a job. And once you do it, you are even very much bored. Eh? <laughs> so, so it's very very That's important. True to do a job that, that, that you love. Eh? Okay. Yeah, Thank like you. Me, I love Thank, Thank you so much, Kagwema uh, from Limuru. Um, some very... Um, interesting points uh, that he has brought up there um, about introducing some of these assessment tests in school. So we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get back from the break. But for now, uh, let's, uh, you know, head over to those commercials. And when we get back, there's definitely more to come right here on K24.